All right, let's talk Drake Jackson, someone who I was very high on coming out of the draft. He got selected by the 49ers, and I think has done some nice things at the edge rush position so far in the preseason. Again, it's just preseason. We all get that, but you know, there's some stuff I liked, so let's get into the stuff I liked, and we'll start off uh, we'll start off with a play I didn't like, actually. Not that it was a disaster, but, you know, he's going to be, uh, really, it's just a play I noticed. Again, it's the preseason, so anything notable I'm going to put up where you're going to have, uh, you know, uh, he's going to get chipped at the line here. So you're going to have the tight end kind of start off blocking him, but then he's going to go out and just run his route. And I don't really know what happens here exactly. But look, I mean, you're really going to see Drake Jackson really goes down very quickly. I don't know if his feet got tangled up with the tight end or something, but the tight end seemed to have no issues. So kind of a weird play, kind of just went down. Uh, you know, is it a big deal? No, it's not. Uh, I don't really care that much, but I, something I saw, so I put it in the video. Okay, anyways, let's go over to some good plays now. Let's start off with this one, which is also going to kind of have a weird stumble here, which is not something I noticed from him in college too much. Uh, haven't noticed it too much in the preseason, but I guess both times I did notice it, I put it in the video. But this is going to be a good play. It's going to be a, a stunt. So you have the interior defensive lineman. He's going to kind of run over and try to get the left guard to move to his left because the center is going to be blocking to his right, so there could be kind of a gap in between those guys where J Drake Jackson can run all the way through and hopefully get straight to the quarterback. Look at how, again, you see that Jackson right there falls down a little bit again, but that's okay. You know, you're all right. Watch him get up and really with force, I mean, go through, powers through the halfback, which created pressure and created an interception. So yes, there was a little bit of a stumble there, but the rest of that play was fantastic. Maybe as a defensive end, you don't love it when one of your highlight reel level plays results you at one point being on the ground, but you know what? You'll take a highlight reel level play any way you can get a highlight reel level play. Uh, at least that's kind of how, how I view it. We also have a play like this where, again, I thought he showed some real flashes in both the running game and the passing game. I started talking about the passing game already. Maybe you haven't been overly impressed with what I've shown so far, but uh, you know there will be more to this video. As you can tell, uh, there's more video left here. Um, and this is a play that I think that he did a really good job on. So there is going to be a, you know, he's not getting blocked by an offensive lineman here. That has to be mentioned. In fact, he's not even getting blocked by a tight end right here. It's Salabasai Johnson, I believe is maybe how you pronounce his name. I know the Johnson part is right. Uh, he's a wide receiver. Uh, so, you know, it's a matchup that you expect that Drake Jackson should win, of course. So you think, oh, wide receiver against a defensive end. He should dominate this. But keep in mind what this play is. It's going to be a run to the offense's right, and Drake Jackson is lined up on the complete other side of the field. So sometimes you don't even put uh, anyone on the edge rusher on these types of plays. So that's why they're doing it. That's why they have just a receiver on him. It's just getting somebody in his way. But at the end of the day, you're not expecting too much. But typically, you don't need too much. However, when this play begins, you see how he, you know, at this point, you see the situation develop, right? You see how he can potentially try and get over, and this is where I think his his speed can come into play. Look at him, really, I mean, just I, I just feel like he did a great job being explosive enough to get over there and be able to make the tackle. So again, these are good plays. He's not going out there and looking like he is going to be the next TJ Watt or anything, at least not right yet. Uh, it might take him some time to be the next TJ Watt, okay? But he's still going out there and playing very well, and that's what you are you drafted him for. He was a second-round pick. You're hoping he can come in and just be a someone who can play well and someone who can find ways to make an impact, which I think he will be able to do. Like this plays another one where, you know, plays like this, this is what we look for in edge rushers, right? This is the exact situation we want to see. It's a third down and seven. Uh, so can you get to the quarterback? Quarterback might be holding on to the ball for a little bit longer, given the fact that it is a third down and you don't want to just get rid of the ball quickly. It's an obvious passing situation, so you don't have to worry about stopping in the run at all. All you have to worry about is going after the quarterback. And look at how when this play begins, kind of an interesting move that you're going to see Drake Jackson pull off, where I think he's just going to, again, this might have even been a, a stunt now that I see it with the, the interior defensive lineman, but okay, listen, uh, he can definitely move well. Watch him use that footwork to get past the tackle. He had a straight shot to the quarterback, but it, it you know, unfortunately didn't quite have enough time. I guess actually, fortunately, they ha had quite enough time because it ended up being an interception. So that ended up being one of those weird plays where not getting the uh, pressure and the sack worked out for him. But I think, again, 
I think it's a good play. These aren't superstar plays, and you could even argue that, wow, well, you know, he's winning off of stunts and stuff. But to me, I mean, that's just the same as if it wasn't the stunt. He beat the tackle regardless. Like, sure, it might have been a stunt there, but he also was in a one-on-one -on -one spot with the tackle and was able to beat him. That's just kind of how, how I view it. I'm definitely very fascinated in what we're going to see with Drake Jackson. I think that, on one hand, uh, there's a lot I like about uh, Drake Jackson. And, and again, I loved him out of college. I, in my, you know, I'd made my whole fake team where I was the Orlando Ostriches and I made sure that I added Drake Jackson. So that was, uh, you know, I drafted him. So I'm high on him. The Orlando Ostriches are hoping that he works out. I think he's someone who can come in and play well. His advanced statistics in college were very good. Those things do tend to translate well to the NFL level. Not always. There is some exceptions, of course. You're not going to find a, a foolproof system there, but pretty well. I mean, it's definitely smart to pay attention to that stuff at the edge rush position. Uh, not every position, but at certain positions, especially, you know, the most important edge rush and offensive line. Those are the ones that translate the best, and his numbers were good. I thought his tape was good. So when you add on both of those things, I think he probably should have gone earlier than he, he did. So I'm a big fan of him as a prospect. When he came in and played in the preseason, I thought that he was solid. I would like to see a little bit more consistency. That's maybe the one thing that I would critique. He had some other wins. I didn't show all of the wins, of course. I uh, only showed a handful of plays. Uh, he had other losses, of course, because, again, you know, I'm only showing you kind of the main talking points that I wanted to bring up after watching, you know, his entire tape from this preseason. So, there was some good, there was some really good, and there was some, and that's, you like to see him win on that. He definitely didn't look embarrassing, though. That's the nice thing. He wasn't getting pushed around out there. He lost his footing a couple of times, but other than that, I thought that, like, he clearly has come in and shown that he should be at least a solid defensive end right away, which is good, because, again, they're not coming in and asking him to be Nick Boza right away. That's not, uh, not, not something they're concerned with. They don't really, that's not their goal. So, just come in, and, you know, when you get your reps, because you will get reps if you're, even if you're a rotational guy, you know, rotational guys will get 500 snaps in some uh, situations. So, you know, when you get those snaps, hopefully you can just, you know, at least be solid in those. I have no doubt He'll be able to do that, and the preseason has kind of, I think, confirmed, like, yeah, no, I like this guy as a player. He should be good right away. Again, big defensive lineman. They just take time. Who knows if he'll come in right away and be good, but he should come in right away and be solid, if not great. So that's kind of the, uh, that's, that's the hope. But again, it's preseason. Who knows? Maybe he'll come in and suck. Maybe he'll come in and dominate. We'll have to wait and see. But yeah, that's what I think about Drake Jackson. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.